Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. Victoria 3 is to Sicily. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, Sicily, or not Sicily, Sardinia, uh, Piedmont, they have joined our market, which is fantastic. Nobody, as of yet, has agreed to actually join and unify with our country. I mean, I'm hoping it happens soon. Peace Treaty, you conquer Mecklenburg. Or at least I thought that you met Conquer Mecklenburg. I'm not too sure. Maybe it takes a while for that to, uh, to take uh, effect. Okay, we unlocked Motor Industries. Which is the trains. One, I want percussion cap because we need ammunition. Uh, we, we literally don't have the technology to even make the factories. But if we go to... I think we need to build a motor industry. Even though it would be expensive... I don't think anybody really produces uh, engines. Production method, production method uses to Sicily. I mean, we don't, I don't even think we have railroads in the country quite yet. So Britain, France, Belgium, United States. Those are the only countries right now that even make uh, trains. So just getting a little uh, train upgrade probably does make sense. How's construction going, by the way? Arms industry, glassworks going pretty well. I want to throw these to the top list as well. So we've got a lot of um, automatic upgrades going on. Which is fine. I'm fine that there's always, I'm fine that there's always construction going on in the country. I don't know why the industrialists hate us, man. They are unhappy. Even though... Are they in government? No, they're powerful. But they're not in government. Yeah, you, these two are in... So these industrials are powerful, but they don't have any power in the country. I mean, we could try... Maybe if we reform the government, what if we bring them into government? But the thing is, you're all very powerful. I mean, you think this would make them happier, but... I mean, again, do we have any laws? Not really. There's nothing we can really pass. I mean, again, we could go to appointed bureaucrats. Which would make our tax uh, collection better. It'd also make the intelligentsia stronger. You would weaken the power of the landowners. If 18.1% power in the country right now. Okay, pharmaceuticals have been upgraded. Industrialist. You're avoiding taxes. Can I suppress you? We need 400 points. So no, I cannot suppress you right now. Modifiers... And literally anything that the industrialists want have no chance of actually making it through the into uh, into law right now. Unproductive trade routes. Okay, cancel all of you. Anybody want to buy my sulfur? Send that to the Russians, I guess. Negative 55. I mean, do we need the alliance anymore? We got a defensive pact with you. Do we need a defensive pact anymore? Oh, again, at some point, they should be annexed. They haven't done it yet, because you, you need ammunition. I mean, again, we're not at war, so getting the ammo, while it would be nice, is not super important. The duel. Galeo Dello Rove and Leopoldo Lombardo uh, to a du has challenged them to a duel to the death. So you are a general. You are the politician of the intelligentsia. Are you the leader of the party? You're a jingoist. Uh, is he the leader of the, um... Of the intelligentsia? Are you, are you the liberal, anti-clerical, republican, anti-slavery? Yes, you are the leader of the intelligentsia. You can either let them fight. They both become unpopular. Or the landowners lose a little bit of power. The intelligentsia gets... A little bit more. What are they at right now? They're at four, so this would actually give me the ten percent society cost. Will it affect the landowners at all? You need to be at least level ten. You're at eleven, so it would. It would be a investment pool. So I'd actually, we lose money off this. You know what? Let them fight. the The leader of the intelligentsia party has been just a shot. Very cool. Well, it is what it is. Everything's so expensive. Who would have thought that trying to balance an economy 
It would not be the easiest thing in the world. I thought maybe it would be. Okay, we got nitroglycerin. Okay, buildings. Anything we can upgrade in our... Buildings at all. Nothing that I can see here. But a lot of stuff for the coal mines. Yeah, nitroglycerin. Give me some pumps. Pumps. Nitroglycerin. Say, they say this will cost me 20,000 pounds. Okay, so sulfur mines are... Why are you? Why are the sulfur mines so expensive? We're losing 2.1k. Okay, we're... We're about, like, even. But apparently, if we substitute you... It's going to make this factor or this uh, the mines way less efficient. Which seems wild to me. Cash reserves are rapidly depleting. Unskilled modifiers. Input. So you don't have enough coal. You don't have enough explosives. That's, that's your issue. Okay. Not enough coal. Not enough explosives. I mean, we could subsidize you. Subsidization is 11,000 pounds. Okay, so you know what? For now, you can do everything the hard way. Like, if you work in a sulfur mine, like, your life's kind of ass. But at least you're, like, the company's not going to be losing any money. The so Prussia that wore Bavaria. Why are you wore Bavaria? What's going on over here in Prussia? So, Prussia, you are at war. Please let me uh, click this. You're at war Bavaria. France is supporting the Bavarians. You're getting support from uh, your little puppet state. What do you What do you actually want from this? Conquer Bavarian Rhineland, which is I think this territory here. Conquer Fr Actually, you're just gonna try to completely annex Bavaria. Whereas, I mean, the French are in the war. I think France Bavaria might have a decent chance of succeeding. I mean, we do see the Prussians already pushed away into Bavaria a little bit. So I'm not too... I mean, what's happened in Germany really is not a major concern with us. If... Oh, no. If Germany forms, what's the harm? The industrialists also hate us now. They're unhappy. No, the intelligentsia hate us. We're losing a 10% prestige loss now. You're angry with me. And I can't... I don't even have the authority to suppress you. Um... Well, was there any laws that they liked? I mean, they like, um... Yeah, I think we go for a point of bureaucrats. I mean, we're going to take a bureaucracy penalty. But nobody likes the hereditary bureaucrats, I think, other than the landowners. So, you know what? Let's go for a point of bureaucrats. Are the landowners... They aren't... They aren't government. So you'd be it's surprising that they would uh, that that they would uh, pass this law, but I guess there's not really any party, so maybe maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Oh, so you have so many loyalists. I'm surprised how many people in the country like me. Yeah, the intelligentsia no longer hates us. We're gonna get our prestige bonus back. That, that's nice. Unproductive trade routes. And we're trading our liquor. Was well, there anything? Okay, markets, details. Is there anything we're making a ton of? We're making a lot of liquor. We could probably trade more of that. We're making. We're actually making clippers. But you're not men of war. Men of war and clippers are different things. Okay. Paying a premium. We're buying more of this than we're selling. We're buying a lot more of all of this stuff. That, like, we don't produce any of this. You will cut the price in half. Yeah, so let's do this. I wish this would stay at the very bottom. What are you? You're steel. We don't produce any steel. I just need something that will... Yeah, from 87.5 pounds to 12.5, absolutely. Yeah, please drop the price of steel. And lead. The price will go from 70 to 32. So even if we import a little bit of this, yeah, like the price, look, look at that graph. It just fucking, the price plummets. 
And again, we're not producing any of you. We're paying a 75% premium. Does anybody make this cheaply? I mean, Prussia would drop the price. We could trade with Prussia. It would cost us 28 convoys. Yeah, you know what? Import some of that from Prussia. Is there anything else that we have demands for that we're like not even importing? Ammunition? Okay, fair enough. Import that from France. Just kind of import it from everybody. Like, we, we need ammo, and until we actually have the research and build factories domestically, there's not too much we can do about that. Yeah, engines right now in Sicily are dirt cheap, but that's because we actually have no use for them. We don't have any trains. So clothes are also very expensive. Let's see if we can drop the price for our population. The answer is that we, we're not actually going to drop the price that much. Are we Are we taxing you? Are you one of the things that I put it to consumption tax on? No. Okay. So that's good. Diplomacy. No, no. Go back to market. Is there anything? What else is stupid? Like luxury furniture. Very expensive. Get the price down to 82 pounds. Let's trade you with France. And again, what do we have a lot? We have a lot of sulfur. But literally nobody is willing. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants sulfur. We got some of these ships. Would anybody be willing to buy? Yes, they would. I just want to, we got to make sure that it doesn't raise the price in our market too much. So let's trade you with Russia. We produce a little bit more liquor. We produce like a little bit more wood. Would anybody willing to buy liquor? Sell 15, 37. Again, I don't want to make I want to make sure the price in our market doesn't go up by too much. Yes, trade you with France. And Russia wants a trade agreement. They want a custom union. So they, they want me to join their custom union. Why would I why would I want to do that? I think that, yeah, no, then I would just be in the Russian... No, that's terrible. That's awful for me. Absolutely not. So yeah, a lot of these Italian northern states are now friendly with us. What's our penalty for you, by the way? 2.6 prestige. The king has intervened in the political process for appointed bureaucrats. Uh, negative 10% chance, or we get a 20% chance, but they don't force the intelligence, you don't like it. Well, I mean... Will advise the king against it. It's a 10.3% chance now, which is not super good. But what can you do? Buildings. What about like a Malay farm? You don't, you don't really make any money for us. Die plantations. Well, what are we building right now? Cotton plantations and more paper mills. I mean, that's fun. That makes sense. Okay, so our motor industries. You produce 40 of them. Productivity is at 5.6. Employment at 1.8K. We're the number 8 motor industry factory in the world. That's because I think mostly because there's no... Um... Intentional has started to complain about subsistence farming. Yeah, sure. That seems okay. Vacancies... What I think what we want to do, which we probably should have done earlier, is in our, not state action, diplomatic plays, is it trade routes? Trade actions, buildings? One of you should be, wait, okay, question. Do we have trains researched? If we don't, logistics, these are triage, some other stuff, hydraulic cranes for canneries, ironclads. I think so. So 
Subsistence farming, development, ports, railroads. No, we don't. We haven't researched railways. Okay, where is railways? Again, this, this is when a search function would be very helpful. I mean, there's no way it's a society research. It makes no sense. Central banking, modern sewage. It's got to be in here somewhere. Dynamite. There's railways. So we need we need mechanized tools. And then we got railroads. Then we can actually build trains in our country. Yeah, no, that seems like that would probably be beneficial. Yeah, so let's get mechanized tools. That'll be done in 32 months. Which is a little expensive. Like, don't get me wrong. Also, I want to now build arms industries. Uh, munition plants. We're gonna build one. Who has the highest pops? I mean, it's mostly you. You know, let's build an Apulella. We'll build a factory down there. I will subsidize it so we can actually get some, uh, high tension to Sicilies and some other countries. Input shortages. Well, we'll import some iron. We'll get that. I mean, we've, we've been very friendly with France, but you know what? Austria drives the price down. And men at wars are expensive as well. Oman apparently sells them for fairly cheap. So we're not sure, Oman. We can uh, we can get them from you, I guess. Unproductive trade routes. I mean, they're not that unproductive. And we still need more convoys. How? Why do we never have enough convoys? Like, all of our ports here are now fully upgraded. So, you know, get you up to four, get you up to four. And we do have our, we do have our port down here. Maybe 1,080 days so we can colonize the entire of the coastline. And once we've colonized the entirety of the um, Kenyan coast, they shouldn't be able to move their way in anymore. Raising concerns. Intelligentsia expressed concerns with the industrialist. I mean, industries have, like, no support right now. They're neutral. What are, what are you at? You're at six? We can take a one-point penalty with you. And red tape. The civil service led by landowners are deliberately stalling the government for creating unnecessary paperwork. Uh, they demand that their jobs to be protected under appointed bureaucrats' law. Yeah, but, I mean, sure, why not? We get 10%... Red tape mitigated while point bureaucrats are being enacted. This would actually lead it to being at 0%. But you actually make it even worse than that. So right now, we have a 2.2% chance of success. We're getting this law actually passed. 25.5% that it uh, advances. I mean, we're going to keep on trying to get this bill passed for now. Diplomatic, you want to annex... You? Sawari. I don't know. Oh, it's for you. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you right now, Brian. I don't care even remotely that you want to go into war with uh, Sawari. Take over the rest of uh, that territory. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. But I think that leaves for right now. This is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Not to close them down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.